Hello there, everybody. This is Pinstripe Paragon. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we took on a doctor. Oh, boy! In this episode, we are going to be using the key the doctor dropped, just like the people from Pokemon. And I'm not sure if I've shown off this enemy, the White Moose. He's weak to fire. Oh, what the hell? What is he weak to? I don't even know. Let's see. How does fire work? Because, like, freaking the Icelands, they're like 284 randomly. I don't even know why. Let's see. Fyra, do they take more than one damage? No? Yeah, Fyra fire, fire works. Alright. Problem is, I gotta take out the Chimeras, too. So, yeah. Chimeras! More like Camaros. Anyway, so we took them out. Pretty easy. Let's just fire again. Take him out again. If that makes any sense. Eh, which it probably doesn't, which is what I'm going for somewhat. Anyway. So, we took him out. Real easy. Ready to gain a level. And we got some fire arrows. That's actually pretty good. What does Rosa have right now? Ice arrows. Yeah, yeah go ahead and put the fire arrows on, Rosa. Anyway, now we get to use the majestic Lugai's key. Lugai, what, whatever. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's not fun, I tell you. It's not fun. You freaking cowards. Oh, my God. How could you? Oh, no. Oh, it's just goblin captains. whoop de doo these guys are so simple, it's not even funny. Okay, it might be, but it's less funny than using a level 100 Dragonite on a level 1 Rattata. You, you gotta put me in a spot there. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Oh, what? what you do? Did you cast Sun Dog on him and then you cast Fyraga on yourself? What the heck, man? Yeah, Kane, I had the same response. Yang, what are you doing, man? What? No, Yang! You're the heir to... to mustaches and ponytails! You know that, right? No! The Mustache King! You're welcome, buddy! Open the damn door! Can't let you go like this! I forgot to take off your equipment! Oh, no! It's so sad! It's so sad! Oh. Poor Yang. He was my favorite character. But now... He... Oh. So depressing. Anyway, we gotta get over that, man. Because we are in a JRPG. We got stuff to do. Monsters to slay. I love how as soon as I say that, we get into a random battle. But anyway... So, yeah... Just lost a major character, and they already changed the music back. With the absence of Yang, would that make him just a, you know, normal character or something? I mean, he didn't stick with us for the entire adventure. I don't know, what's the ruling on that? What makes a character a main character? That's what I want to know. Save point there, I don't need it. I need to get the hell out of here, that's what I need. Ah. So I'm not really sure where I stand on it, because, well, you know... There's a lot of supporting characters in this game, like, you know, Yang and stuff. He doesn't stick with us the whole time, but, uh, you know, he still played a decently major role, I'd say. Not the biggest role, but it was a role nonetheless, so, you know, I think what determines that is an opinion on the player, you know, because, I mean... There's only like, there's really only truly one main character in Pokemon, some people say, and that'd be your own character. But yet, if you play it like some people, where you just choose a team of six, then, you know, they might consider them, that's actually kind of stupid. But, you know, it seems legit, the fact that, uh, you know, they're pretty much with you from the start, once you get them, anyway. And th the odds are they're with you the whole time. I don't know, that's what I kind of consider, you know, main character. At least, like, a party member character, you know. 
I'm sure some of you are probably like, um, you know, what am I trying to say? Like, what the heck, man? It, some pro antagonists don't even stay with you the entire game. So are they main characters too? Well, d it depends, really. It, it's, it's as if twin, the Hodge twins would say, it's in the eye of the beholder without the beauty part. So, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, my buddy Paptown Gaming has got me watching the Hodge Twins. <laughs> and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but, uh, you know. Just do it, Ian. <laughs> really? Uh, so. Ooh, well. So. Yeah, we're running from a ship. We're sailing away, as the singer of Sticks would put it. So. What shall we do, you say? Well, we gotta get this guy off a tail. We gotta be heading to that Baron, man. And seriously. So legit. So, yeah. I mean, it, oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm going through this a little fast. I mean, we are just sailing over lava, and the song Come Sail Away does make some sense. You know, I mean, I think it's about aliens. I don't know. It makes no sense sometimes. Like, I used... Like, toward the end of freshman year of high school, I really liked that song. No! Sid! Why? A bang! No! Too much has happened this episode! Sid! I mean, seriously, that's the loss of two main characters in one episode. Probably within, like, what, five minutes? Yeah, probably five minutes of each other. That's just... Wow. I've never seen this many characters getting blown off since I saw the Jersey Shore. Anyway... <laughs> I don't even, I don't care about the Jersey Shore. Because, <laughs> in my mind, they were all kicked off. Because when I watched, like, five seconds of that, I just rage quit the show, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, we gotta head to Baron, man, see what's up there. You know, I mean, it's really the only place we know. So, let's... Alright, I'm back. Basically, I just sold off some extra Mithril Hammers I acquired from battling. Uh, Mithril Hammer is a decently common... It's not really common. It's an uncommon drop in the Tower of Babil, so... You know, if you can... Man, there's really not much of a point to wait, because Sid just sacrificed himself, you know? But... We have to head to the East Tower and talk to Sid's engineers break the news to them. I mean, I don't know if I can. You know? Oh well, they'll just fix the Enterprise for us. The Star Trek Enterprise. I never watched that show. Like, I might have watched like once. Cause like, the theme song to some modernized Star Trek is kind of lodged into my mind. I don't remember what it was. It was either that show or Eureka. Wh whatever was on sci-fi in, like, 05. Like, my dad used to watch sci-fi all the time. And, you know, every now and again I would come in as well. But it's just... They, they freaking have some of the worst sci-fi movies ever. Like... There's this one called Mosquito Man, and like the the effects were just so bad. And this was like in the round. I, I have no idea when it came out. I saw it around 2009, 2010, maybe. Um, I honestly don't remember. But uh, you know. So yeah, I remember my dad watching Star Trek or whatever the heck was on there. Like, you know, every Friday, I think it was. 
I don't know. But now we we actually have to head back to Mount Hobbs. And I'm probably heading the wrong way. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mount Hobbs. Oh, I'm actually I'm actually close to it. Okay. Oh, well, this is a cool feature. You know, you can just look at you can just use sight, and then you can you know see this. So, yes, we are here. The reason why we are here is to get this. Now, I just want to show you know where we're heading. Um, I can never find it. Uh, am I going the right way? Okay, so now that we're at Mount Hobbs, they actually added a feature to our ship. We can now do that. But, there is something that we can do. There is Eblon Castle, which we actually skipped before. The reason why is because, well, the odds are probably wouldn't end well for us. So, let's see, where is it? Hold on. Alright, so once you pick up the airship, you want to head north, and then to left. You want to head this way, actually. Now, this is not the part we actually came out of there. Um, where we want to go is around here. So, let's just drop the hovercraft and just head on out. Now, we will be... Set. Well, we will be continuing on sometime in the future, but this is Eblon Castle. We could have done this a while back, actually, but the reason why I decided to hold off was because, you know, we really could not have handled it, you know, back then, like, earlier in the game. So, but, but now, I think we ought to be able to do pretty well in here, so... Just get some items. That's the main reason we came here. You know, that gill in mind. Okay, I need to move some stuff around, obviously. I forgot to uh, drop some stuff off. Uh, let's see. Oh, gosh, that doesn't help. Um, can I equip anything extra at all? <laughs> nope. Okay, let's see. What can I get rid of then? I'll go ahead and just get rid of this. I don't need it. It's not gonna do me any good at this point in the game. Uh, alright. And we get a Bakchu Swine. Oh, goody. Let's screw that. We can get rid of that, too. I don't need it. And a Bomb Core. Uh, I'd rather have the Bakchu thing. Because, like, that's basically a self-destruct right there. I don't find it that useful, to be honest. Uh, okay, let's see. Can I seriously not do anything else here? Hmm. Okay. Well, uh... Hmm. Peculiar. Hmm. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Uh, if, if there is a way I can get to that treasure, I will show it. But, uh, it's just right now, I want to move on, you know. Not be stuck in one area at a you know, a particular time, you know. Um, so, up here, actually I have this. Oh, boy. Emergency exit, another high potion, always good. You know, you can't have too many of those, now can you? Well, maybe. That's called a limit. Anyway, this is the Eblon Castle Passage. We get s some ethers and something else, which I really want to get. Uh, I don't need the bomb core. It's, I don't. I don't think it's worth it. And a monster in the box. All right, so we got some mad ogres here. These dudes are weak to nothing. They have over. They have 2,000 HP exactly, according to this. So, you know, uh, not too terribly difficult, but still could prove a bit of a challenge if you're not prepared. Uh, you know. A couple of attacks takes them out really quick. Let's just use Ramu. I don't think I've shown off Ramu yet. Uh, Ramu is basically a thunder summon for Rydia. Oh, nice, Kane. 
Nice. And all of most of her summons will target more than one enemy. You'll just have to see uh, which ones do and which ones don't. So, you know, there's a little experimenting to deal with. But, uh, get these mad ogres here. Oh my god, that was worthless. At least I showed it, though. You know, I was getting to the point where... Can I show that yet, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I just went ahead and did it. Because, like, I, don't, I expect summons to work, you know. Not to, like, just crap up that badly. But, uh, right, so we got some silver apples and another headband. Um... Can I replace anything? Uh, let's see. What can I get rid of? Uh, I might as well get rid of the fire arrows because, well, you know, I just. There was only four left. So. Alright, it's in here. And it is an exit. Well. We'll be exploring the rest of that place in the next episode. I'm kind of running out of time here. So, let's just use a silver apple on Rydia and use a tent. So, in the next episode, I will be taking on Eblin Castle further. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.